to the homestead. Uh, for those of you who've been following our channel for a while, you know I've been trying to do um, once a month what we eat in a day video. And this time I thought I'd change it up a little bit and I'm, I'll see how it goes. I might actually kind of change that series of videos to something a little bit different in the future. But I thought it would be fun to do a farm to table meal. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And then as a way to kind of help encourage our family to eat more off the land, I might just replace our what we eat in a day video once a month with a simple farm to table meal. So let me know in the comments what you think about that idea. I know a lot of people like the what we eat in a day videos, but I thought it'd also be fun to do this farm to table series as well. So for today, um, we're gonna be doing lunch off the land. The days have been really, really hot and the chickens haven't been laying much but uh, they're starting to pick up now as the nights are getting cooler and the ducks have started laying again. So I thought we'd do some scrambled eggs and then to go on top of that, uh, we've got tomatoes, onions, and garlic. So I'm gonna blend those up together to make kind of like a fresh salsa. And then we also have a couple zucchini we got from the garden. Um, so I'll cook those up as a side dish and that'll be it, that'll be lunch. But before we start making that, I wanted to give an update on Kip's health journey real quick here. Uh, he's doing really well, so I'm gonna go find him and um, we'll just kind of talk through where he's at. I think you guys will be really encouraged to hear how he's been doing lately. I found him. What you working on, love? Moving these huge block around. Yeah, these blocks are for our main crop retaining wall down here yeah lower part of the garden huh mm-hmm so how you been doing lately doing pretty good yeah, yeah definitely um i've experienced improvement uh, working on getting my stamina up and we are changing our eating window a little bit and things like that. Carrie will give you the details on that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just really want to build muscle mass, you know, like that. <laughs> More of that stuff. More of that stuff. <laughs> uh huh. And not just maintain, but gain weight by muscle mass. Right. That's, that's the goal at this point. Yeah, you stop losing weight pretty much now. You're just maintaining but when you start putting on more muscle mass, you're going to start gaining weight again. I expect so. Yeah. yeah. Once my endurance and stamina, you know, gets up where I can push it more physically. Yeah. Um, and then I can, I think, really start getting the mus muscle mass built yeah. back up. You still have a lot of muscle, though. <laughs> well, it's there. Before, it was just hidden. Right. You know. And we still need to get you a new wardrobe. Your shirts are too big and pants. <laughs> yeah, so with shirts that are one or two sizes too big for you, it makes you look way skinnier or way smaller than you really are. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, yes, I need new clothing that fits me proper. Yeah. <laughs> so you've had a little more strength and stamina lately. We've been doing the electrolyte drinks and extra smoothie. Um, you're going to be increasing your eating window from five hours to seven. So hopefully um, having two meals spread out, you'll be able to eat more at those meals. Yes. That's been the challenge, you guys, is having the eating window, you know, smaller to be able to eat two big, big full meals and get really all that you need. That's what I was having trouble with doing. I wasn't able, just like yesterday, I wasn't actually able to eat enough because my two meals are too close together. So I wasn't hungry enough on my second meal to really eat a full meal. Yeah. So we're trying to accomplish that full meal, all the calories, all the nutrition that we need in those two meals. Yeah, so I think that'll be really good. Um, just yesterday, you said that your um, sensitivity to heat seems to be getting a little better, huh? Yes. So that's really good. Yeah, for many years, like, I don't know, a good 20 plus years, 20 years or so, when I work hard in the heat, I overheat easily. Yeah. That's, that's been my issue. And then once I do overheat, I get a headache and I can never get rid of that headache until I go to sleep that night and wake up the next morning. So that headache will be with me the rest of the day. Yeah. When I get to that overheat point. Yesterday I got to the overheat point because we were working really hard in the heat and the sun and the heat worked with the uh, hay bales. Yeah. And um, I didn't get the headache and 
I was able to recover in a matter of a couple hours instead of all day until I sleep. Yeah. So that's that's huge improvement. Mm -hmm. Speaking of heat, <laughs> Caleb's doing a burn pile over there. So if you're wondering what that crackling is, um, he's burning a bunch of pokey weeds. Thank you, Caleb. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thought that was just ambiance for the video. <laughs> right. Well, cool. I'm sure people will be encouraged um, to know that things are getting better and better. And I know I am. I've been so blessed to see you just feeling better, more uh, motivated, more excited about life. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's right. Been great. Yep. And your stress comes down too. Yeah. When you're feeling better, things don't stress you as easily. Right. So that's a huge benefit that we both need more of, right? Yeah, less stress. Yeah. All joy. No stress. <laughs> stress. No worries. I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. From early in the morning till the crickets and the sun done set. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All joy. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for uh, giving us an update here. You're quick. welcome. All right, we're going to get to our farm to table meal. Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to start with the garlic. I'm going to blend that up first and get it nice and small. Uh, then I'll add the onion, blend it a little more, and then I'll finish off with putting tomato in. And then I think I'm going to get some basil from the garden as well to add to the mixture. Garlic's done. I'm actually going to put the basil in with the onion and garlic to get it chopped pretty fine. And then I'll take all of that out and do the tomatoes separate and then combine it all together at the end. Almost forgot, I'm also going to add a little bit of MCT oil and a pinch of salt. Maybe more than a pinch. <laughs> Okay, so that's not working so good with the tomatoes. I think I'll just hand slice them. So I just chopped up the zucchini. I'm just going to kind of lightly steam it until it's tender and then I'll strain the water out and add some salt and butter. Maybe pepper too. We'll see. <laughs> Working on scrambling the eggs out here on our outside kitchen stove. Um, we have a propane stove. The oven doesn't work, but the stove top works great. This is where I do most of my summer cooking. Uh, so anyway, I just want to say I just tasted that salsa and whoo, it's spicy. That garlic is, a, is pretty potent. So if you don't like it real spicy, probably just use like about six cloves instead of a whole head of garlic. The zucchini's looking good, steaming away. I'm just going to finish scrambling up these eggs and then we'll be ready to eat. We also have some apples coming ripe and there's bugs starting to munch on those so we're trying to get them before the bugs do. So I grabbed a few of those in case anyone's still hungry. Great. All off the land. Thank you, honey. Yep. Enjoy. <laughs> you can go dish up if you want, Nadie. All right. Uh, <laughs> Joseph, you ready for lunch? Yeah. You been having fun at the creek? Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Abby? Are you yeah. ready for lunch? Did you have fun down at the creek? Yeah. <clears throat> cool. So what's on your plate there, Abby? What is all that? Pink. Mommy, you can have it. I can have a bite? Yeah. You can eat it. I'll get my own, sweetie. <laughs> Enjoy! Thank you. You're welcome. So what do you think, Nady? 
It's good. Yeah? Is mm -hmm. it better than you thought it'd be? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> he was saying, man, I wish we had some chips. <laughs> we actually don't have any chips right now. And we're trying to keep this meal totally off the land. Other than the salt, of course. We don't produce our own salt. <laughs> hey, did you have fun at the creek? Yeah! Are you ready for some lunch? Yeah! Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy! Well guys, that was a pretty simple and delicious meal off the land. Everyone enjoyed all parts of the meal except for the two littlest. Did not care for the salsa, which I knew was probably going to be the case. So they ended up having a few apple slices to go with their meal. Um, as well, Kip had a bowl of homemade granola um, that we had had for breakfast. That was not off the land, but he just needed that extra little bit to fill himself up for his meal. So all in all, a really good meal. Thanks for joining us on the homestead again today and before I go I just wanted to apologize real quick for a few videos ago when uh, we were talking about Kip's health journey and I completely missed this in the edit. Um, I didn't realize that Kip had mistakenly said that he lost 40 pounds in two months. Um, I was so confused when the comments came rolling in and didn't realize until like a week later <laughs> that he had said that. Uh, so I apologize as the editor of these videos. I missed that. We messed up. And it just caused a lot of confusion and frustration for some people. So um, the truth is that he lost 40 pounds in six months, which is a much more reasonable, realistic amount of weight to lose. <laughs> Um, so anyway, thank you to all of those who were concerned and cared about what's going on with him. Um, he's doing great and I'm just so thankful for where he's at, the choices that he's making and all the ways that it's affecting not just his physical health, but his mental health too. He's just so much more motivated and joyful and excited about life and that's a huge blessing. So anyway, wherever you're at on your health journey, I hope that you are motivated and I hope that you're experiencing better and better health, especially for those of you who are really working hard and trying to make lifestyle changes to help improve your health. And as always, thank you to our patrons who make these videos possible. We really appreciate you all so much. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.